YouTube, welcome back to Kim Possible Beauty. And it is that time of year again. It is time for the Sephora VIB spring sale. So of course I had to pick up a few things. So stay tuned and see what I picked up. I've been on vacation work has been crazy busy and life has just been life but in the midst of all that I still was preparing myself for this Sephora VIB sale because um I needed to re-up on a few things and it was so many new products I wanted to try and I hadn't been buying anything so I saved up and got some things now I had two store trips and one online order everything I wanted wasn't in stock um and I did want to go online and get it but a few things are still out of stock online so I'm just not going to worry about it this time I think I got enough to hold me over so I'm going to go ahead and dig in so I have two bags in a box here and I think I'm going to probably start with the bag no I'll start with this bag first and then just randomly pull things so it's in no particular order but I hope you all been doing good Okay, the first thing I knew I wanted to get is my Sephora brow pencils because one, I love these pencils and they are um, already affordable, but 30% off the Sephora collection doesn't help. And also, I'm trying to get this haul in before the sale end, which it ends on the 15th. And in case you're not familiar with the Sephora VIB sale, they do the sale twice a year in which their Beauty Insiders, which is a member, um, and you're, it's free to sign up. All you need is your email and phone number and you can earn anywhere from 10, 15 to 20% off based on your tier. 10 being a beauty insider, 15 being a VIB, and 20% being Rouge. Rouge just means you spend a lot more money in a calendar year than the other two tiers, which unfortunately I am. So that's how I was able to shop and save 20%. But I got the two Sephora brow pencils that I use and I get the shade Chocolate. And I got two of those. Next up, while I was still in the Sephora collection, I decided to try the Vitamin C and E Super Glow Serum. Um, my best friend was telling me how good it was and that if I had to get some skincare, definitely get this. I always saw it, never tried it. So I figured with 30% off, definitely a good time to try it. So I picked this serum up. And then um, I saw, I think the Fenty Ben came out with these plush, plush pudding intensive recovery lip mask. Um, I wanted to try it. I think some came out last year or one came out last year, but I didn't get it. So I decided to get it this time. And this time it was in a new scent, Kalahari Melon. So I can't wait to try that because normally I use my Laneige Lip Meat Sleeping Mask and my favorite one is the Peppermint. Um, but I wanted to try something else. So I decided to pick up Kalahari Melon. Next up, I saw when this came out, I knew I wanted it so bad. So I hearted it and put that in my cart online just in case I couldn't get it in store. And that is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Hue Drops. And this one is in the shade Sun Glow. I, when I used to work at Sephora, I got the original um, Niacinamide Drops from Glow Recipe as part of gratis. I use that serum up. I loved how it made my skin glow. And so when I saw that they had a tinted serum one, I couldn't wait to try it. So I'm excited. I'll show you all what the bottle looked like. It looks like the original one, except a little deeper with that more, that glow tone to it. Because the original one is um, with the pretty pink. But I can't wait to try this. I put it on my hand in the store. and was like, yes, need this on my face. Need this. So excited about that. And the last step out of this bag was the Soft Pinch. Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blushes from Rare Beauty. Oh, the formula itself made these look so pretty. And I do not have any, um, I have the liquid blushes from Rare Beauty and I love those. So I couldn't wait to try this. And so when I went in store, I couldn't decide. I wanted like three of the colors, 
but I went on and decided to pick up with this trip joy because I believe I have this in the liquid bus formula it's my first time opening it I got it nice and secure in the plastic that's for sure and this is the packaging here oh that is gorgeous and it is a pretty like a corally bronze color so i can't wait to give that a try i'm not going to swatch this this video will be here all day but i love that color that's the end of the bag so next up i'm going to go ahead in my i got so i don't know where to start i'm going to go ahead in this second bag and then i'll do the box while we're on the rare beauty i've decided because i saw that one swatched it loved it i thought about it so i went back to the store um and see the first that store i was in the sephora coles but because i live 45 minutes away from the original full size sephora but i decided to go there before the sale was over and i got another luminous powder blush and this time i got it in the shade truth which was to me that mauve color and those the two i was deciding between love joy and truth and i ended up getting joy and truth so let me pull that one out. I like how she packaged um, Rare Beauty packaged their items. Oh, this one just looks so pretty. So pretty. So it's like a mauvey berry color and with that glow to it. So to me, these luminous blushes, you really don't need a highlighter because the blush itself provides that highlight for you. Then next up, these two things i got a lot of lip products this this sale and i'm normally not a a lippy lippy like that but i decided to this time i've been hearing about this um lip liner for a while and i wanted to give it a try this is the lip snatcher by one size and i got it in the shade coin collector it looked like a pretty chocolate brown and this is the regular lip pencils it's a precision lip filler liner so and normally i go for um like roll on type of liners like molasses from sephora is one of my favorite and then of course matte chestnut is like the original og pencil so i wanted to try another one and this look like it's going to be a pretty nice brown so i couldn't wait to try that and with all these lip products i got i needed to get a lip liner um next up it was so many i wanted to try and i think i honestly got different shades in the same brand so you're probably going to see that come up or not i probably should have put it together and put it away I decided Lawless is one of my favorite lip glosses. And so I knew the hands down, it had some new colors out. I wanted to try it. So this is the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line. And like I said, this is brand, Lawless is one of my favorite glosses, hands down. I fell in love with them last year and now I want every shade. So I know for sure I got at least two during this sale. But this is the first one I wanted, which is Juicy Watermelon. It is a pretty, you look at that, I almost matched my nail. This is so pretty, oh my goodness. And I love the formula. Can't wait to wear that, I'm gonna be wearing that all spring in summer juicy watermelon is the shade next up i wanted to try one of huda beauty's um new faux filter extra shine lip gloss i'm normally a matte person but it's like this past year or so i've been into a lot of different lip oils and glosses because i feel like so many have come out so i've been trying to try them all so i did get and these were hot commodity these were not at cold so that's one reason why i wanted to go to a standalone sephora because that's where they were and i got the shade foxy they had this one the clear one in a a light light one that i was just like oh no i don't think that's going to work on my skin tone and that's what this one looks like here so I can't wait to try it and um, see what that formula is like and see what that shade is going to look like. Next up, I decided to get um, a Dewy Plump Collagen Lip Gel from Give Beauty. Well, it's just called Give. I don't know why I want to put Beauty on there. And I got the shade Marigolds. This formula, I tried it in the store. Oh my goodness. And I tried it on my hand. I didn't try it on my lip in the store. But it just, it literally did feel like a lip gel, like a gel. So I'm like between a gloss and like a lip oil is what this feels like. So I guess that gets gel. This is the packaging. And this color looks closer to who your beauty shade. So yeah, but either way, I like the formula. And so that's why I couldn't wait to try it. And I believe I got another shade, but this is Marigold. So, um, and I don't have too much. I think I only have 
lip products from Give, and they've been given like I like her her matte lipsticks and her other gloss formula I have. Next up, while I was in store, I saw this going around the tube, and I've always heard of Josie Marin's lip body products, but I never got to try it. So this one was a set, and I felt figured I could give three of her scents a try. And this is the Josie Marin Butter Babies set, and it comes in this cute little travel bag here. And the three scents that it looks like you get are, let's see if I can see them here on this packaging. You know what? I'm acting like I can't open it up. The first one is Bohemian Fig, which have um, base notes of tonka beans and vetiver. And the heart is vanilla orchid. And the top note is orange, bergamot, and Sicilian lemon. Next up, the last two were the ones that really sold me and made me want this set was Topless Tangerine. The top note is Yuzi, Pixie, Tangerine, and Pink Grapefruit, fruit, which I like the smell of Tangerine. The heart note is the Black Currant, Pineapple, and Melon. I love all three of those, so I knew I would love that. And the base is Brown Sugar. Definitely can't wait to try that one. And lastly, the third scent is Vanilla Vibes. The top note is Bergamot and Juniper Berries. Heart is Violet, and the base is Cedarwood and Vanilla Bean. So Vanilla Vibes and Topless Tangerine are going to be ones that I definitely enjoy. So if you want to um, try some of um, Josie Mary's Body Butters, they come in these like a little travel size refillable tubes. I think you can refill it if you have the actual jars. But I figured I could just, it's a good way to travel with in this packaging to me. So I can't wait to try it um, out these scents. And then I now I got a cute little travel makeup bag for when I throw stuff in my purse. I will definitely use this. And lastly, this wasn't something um, I expected to buy when I went in store. I wanted to smell them and see if I would like it. And I wanted to the discovery set, but it didn't have it. Sold out. They didn't have only had two cents to choose from. Um, and then they didn't have any travel. But I sprayed it, walked around, and I was like, I do really like it. And this is the Forever Mood um, fragrance. And I am her. Like I said, she had four scents, but something about I am her had me sold. So, um, one, glad to support Jackie and her brand. But I am her was one of the ones that I was looking for. I think I also like the smell of you. Remind me, I think. It's the one in the clear packaging. I think I like that one as well. So, if a travel ever come back in stock or that travel set comes back in stock, I'll probably get that. But you can't be a full-size fragrance, which um, well, it's a 1.7, which is still affordable for $79 and then 20% off. So, I didn't mind that and I did like the scent and I like supporting Jackie. So, I'm glad I did get that. Lastly, we have the box. Um, in this box, I have my online order when I say box. I like Ole Henriksen, and I saw that they had some Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatments, so I decided to pick up one. It was two shades I wanted in this. Um, the one I wanted wasn't there, so originally, that I wanted for first place wasn't in stock, but I saw this one, and I did like this one, and this one came in the shade Blood Orange Spritz. I swatched it, and it felt so soft, and I feel like I like to keep things like these in my purse, and that's the lip treatment. I feel like it would help with lines or dryness on your lips, and this is what it looks like. Um, I think they do have like a little tint, but not much. So like I said, I like to throw these in my purse, so I can't wait to try that. Next up, let's see. Oh, I see my other Give product, and that is another Give lip which is the Dewy Plump Collagen Lip Gel. And this time I got the shade Hibiscus. Any type of mauve color or berry color, I'm gonna try it. So that's why I had to get this one. And that's definitely what it's giving. It's giving almost like a mauve nude. So definitely excited to try that. That might be a color that I wear a lot. And I also see the other Lawless shade I got. I wanted this shade for a long time, but I think this shade kept running out of stock online and my store never would have it. And this is the Lawless, forget the filler, lip plumping um, gloss in the shade Nudie, which is exactly what it is. It is a pretty nude shade that I'm going to wear with a brown lip liner. I cannot wait. And this is what it looks like. I'm looking at it, but why does mine sort of look like it's empty in there? Oh. I guess some, can somebody open this? I can't tell if it's open, but I did, you know, it was a little, looked like it was a little blank space in there. But um, yes, I really wanted this color and I'm glad I finally got it in my hands. Next up I have, what's this one? Ah, House Labs. I don't have 
um, much by House Labs other than all their blushes. Um, but I don't think I had any lip products. So when I saw these, I decided to give it a try. And this is, let's see, what are these called? These are the PhD Hybrid, Hybrid Lip Glazes by House Labs. And I got mine in the shade Macaroon, which looked like a pretty pink. So I couldn't wait to try that one. And that is what this looked like. Clearly, I like the same color family. So yes, I can't wait to try that formula. Um, I did wanted to try one of the House Labs lip oils, but for whatever reason, I forgot to pick one up. But I got enough lip products to hold me over, so I should be okay. And let's see, huh? the last gloss that I have is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is, like I said, a lip gloss. And I wanted this color for a while as well, because I don't have any in this formula from Anastasia. But this color I wanted, but it was always out of stock, either online or in the store. And this is the shade Cotton Candy. A pretty, pretty pink that I'm sure I'm going to have to wear a lip liner with. But I just love that shade of pink. Oh, this is so pretty. So pretty. The packaging just seems so elegant. I really like that as well. So um, I used to have a, when I still do, I just haven't worn them in a while, a lot of lip glosses from Anastasia, the previous formula and liquid lipstick. So glad to try that. Um, that was the last of the lip products. So next up, I have two more skincare items. Um, I've been, especially since I got back from Jamaica, I've been experienced and break out on my face. Not sure why, what's going on, but I wanted to try out some different products, switch up my routine to see what I could do to kind of combat that. So I wanted to try, um, and I heard any, a lot of good things about Skin Fix, so I wanted to give it a try. So this is the Skin Fix Acne Plus 2% 2, 2 BHA cleanser, and it says it helps clear acne. It's an acne treatment cleanser, and I decided to go ahead, um, and try the travel size before I invested in a big one on the sale. Because I feel like I can get a good amount of washes with this. And I'll just invest in the bigger bottle if this does work the way I want it to work. So I got this to try out first. And then in the midst of breaking out what I can do to treat them at night. I saw this online. It had good reviews about it. So I wanted to try it. And this is by... Um, what is this brand? It's a pimple paste. And it's an overnight drying paste. And it's infused with natural miracle workers, willow bark, sulfur, oregano, and thyme. Um, why I can't? Oh, I don't know if it's in. I want to say it's in beauty because the, the package on the back said in beauty we trust. But this is what it looks like here. And it wasn't that expensive. So I definitely figure um, in beauty project. Maybe that's the brand right there. Um, hopefully this will work because skin been doing what it's been doing and i don't like that um last two products in here as if that wasn't enough um i had to get another fragrance um i had this one in my cart first actually before i even looked at forever mood this was the valentino born in roma the green extravaganza i had to try it actually the store um were sold out of the 1.7 and the 3.4 so i had no choice but to get um but i did this online anyway so i'm glad i did do online but i did want to just get a sample for i mean a smaller travel first because when i do have a lot of fragrances but um i went on and got this first so maybe by next sale in the fall i can go ahead and get a bigger bottle because i pretty much valentino do, don't miss when it comes to fragrance so i knew i was gonna like it so i picked up that and the last item that i got from the sale oh i wanted it when it came out but i was like no i'm going to wait for the sephora sale before i buy it i love danessa i love danessa down but i had so i had to get her groundwork palette i did not get the previous one um and I now I think I want to go back because I saw looked at this and was just like oh I may need another one just because this is pretty and it's mainly what sold me too on the so many uses you can have on it this is the blooming um romance palette and it, it is for your eyes your brows your face and your lips and that's what sold me on the fact that um I can use it in so many places so I definitely want to experiment with that so um I looked at it when I went in the store to get my other items but I didn't actually look at mine I'm going to open it up because I did shop the first day of the sale. The stuff that's online in the box is what I got from the first night of the sale because I had stuff in the cart at midnight. Oh, this is so pretty. And you know what? I should have been opening it because it is a crack in my palette. That's my own fault. But it's not enough for me to send it back. But I'll show you all the palette. It comes with a beautiful mirror. But this is the palette. And you can see my um, shade 
here is cracked but I'm not gonna worry about it because I don't wanna send it back and it's so pretty. And this, to me, I definitely, you can use a lot of these shades. You can do your brows here. You probably could do some contouring. Um, the top shades, not like I said, not just eyeshadow. I definitely would try to use some of these for some blush. Um, this is so pretty. And colors like this is what I typically would wear to work um, on a daily basis, no matter what I'm wearing. So, so excited and can't wait to play with it. I'm probably gonna go look at at the videos again on Danessa's channel so I can see how she used it and see how some other um, young ladies on her channel use the palette so I can get some ideas on what to do. And the last two things in the box are samples so we can wrap this haul on up. And luckily I was able to get fragrance samples because when I order online, fragrances is always gonna be my first choice of samples. I got the Mason Louis Marie scent here. It's a perfume oil. And it is number 13. So I don't know what that... Ah, it is Muget Tuscan Fig Tonka. And this is a cruelty-free mindful of your body and the environment brand. Trusted since 19... 17, excuse me, 1792. So I can't wait to smell that and see how that works, if I like that. Um, I've heard of that brand before, but never bought anything. So that's a good sample I wanted to try. And this was another... Um, um, something I really wanted to try because I heard a lot about Necessaire, but I don't really have anything from Necessaire. And this is the Necessaire Body Lotion. It's a nice little sample. I feel like I probably, if you put this on your whole body, then yeah, it's not going to cover everything. But I feel like I'll probably use it like a hand cream um, in my purse for when I forget something. But yes, that is all I got from this Sephora sale. So hopefully I can have this up in time. The last day of the sale is Monday the 15th. So if you run out of items, you need to re-up, you want to try something, go ahead in that store so you can get your 10, 15, or 20% off based on your tier. But thank you all so much. Tell me if you got some of these items. Tell me how you use them. Tell me if you like them. What I should try, shouldn't try, or just tell me what you got from the sale below. I look forward to um, the comments to see what you all got as well, because I may want to try it or at least put it on my love list for another time. But until next time, thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and you all take it easy. Love you guys.